This is a video showing the derivation of pi. To find the area of a triangle in a circle with radius 1, begin by dividing the large triangle into three separate triangles as seen below. Then draw a vertical line through one to create a right angle. From there, you can find one of the angles dividing 360 degrees by 6. This is a result of an angle of 60 degrees. Then you must find side lengths. Use sine of 60 to find the base and cosine of 60 to find the height. Plug this into the formula 1 half base times height to find area. This will result in 0.24917. Multiply this number by 60 to cover entire triangle, thus having the area of a triangle in a circle with radius 1. Very similar to the triangle, begin by dividing the square into 4 parts because the square has 4 sides, creating 4 triangles. Draw a vertical line creating a right triangle like before, and then divide by three, divide 360 degrees by 8, finding an angle of 45 degrees. From here, it is identical to the triangle, except with a different angle. Use sine 45 for base and cosine 45 for height. Then plug into the area 1 half base times height to discover its area of 0.25. Multiply by 8 to fill the rest of the square, thus finding the area of a square in a circle with the radius 1. From here you will notice a pattern. First to create equal amount of triangles as sides of the polygon, then create a right angle in one of the triangles. By dividing 360 degrees by double the amount of sides, one can discover the angle for the right angle triangle created. Then use sine and cosine to find side lengths, plugging those into the area formula, one half base times height, as seen in the last two examples. Here is a pentagon solved exactly the same as the previous two, showing how this pattern works for all polygons. This list of instructions can be formatted into a mathematical equation, which any number of side lengths polygon can be plugged into and the area can be solved. The greater the side lengths, the closer the area is to pi, because more of the circle is being filled up. And representing the number of sides, this formula shown here works for any polygon no matter how many sides with a circle of radius 1. Next is to solve the area of polygons with a circle of radius 1 inside of it. The objective is to find how much space there is needed for a circle with radius 1 to sit perfectly inside the polygon with no excess room. Begin by using a triangle. Although this may seem more challenging, it is actually much easier. First begin with the same methods as before, by splitting the triangle into three separate triangles. Then make the vertical line down, one creating a triangle with the right angle. As before, this angle is 60 degrees, because you've divided 360 degrees by 6. Unlike before, however, you do not know the hypotenuse of the triangle, only the height, as it is 1 because of the radius of the circle. So instead of using cosine or sine, use tangent of 60 to find the base of the triangle. Now that you have the base and height, plug it into the area formula for triangles, 1 half base times height, then multiply that number by 6 to fill the entire triangle out. It should have an area of 5.1962. Next is the square. As expected, divide the square into 4 triangles like shown, then draw the vertical line creating a triangle with the right degree angle. Divide 360 by 8 to find the angle of 45 degrees and then proceed to find the base of the square. Using the same method, because we know the side length, we can use tangent of 45 degrees, plugging that into the area formula 1 half base times height to find the portion of the square. Multiply that number by 8 to fill entire square, finding its area of 4. Once again, you will notice this clear pattern being formed. And like before, there is a mathematical function you can use to find the area of any polygon with a circle of radius 1 inside. This formula can be expressed as such, once again, n representing the number of sides. I know I spoke quickly, and so if you didn't catch anything, I have the entire script for this video in the comment section below.